guys. I, you're going to be able to hear so much, so much in the background. I have all three boys home today and Joshua is not home today. So pray for me. I got my hands on my creamer. So I'm having a nice hot coffee this morning. The only plan that I know of for today is I do have to run to Walmart to get a few things. I'm just going to vlog today. I haven't vlogged in a bit. I've been doing a lot of Walmart videos and shopping videos. And so I just kind of had the itch to vlog. Why I decided to do it on a solo day with three kids beats me. I guess I wanted a challenge. So here we are. The kids have had breakfast. I have not had breakfast. I'm going to drink this and I'll probably skip to lunch because when I drink a cup of hot coffee, it usually kind of like fills me. I'm the king, Mom. Okay. You're the king? Yes. I haven't vlogged in a little bit. I've just been doing the shopping videos just because honestly, I've gotten very discouraged when it comes to vlogging and I've considered stopping. Like I've considered just doing shopping videos, just doing like the Walmart videos or doing grocery hauls and stuff like that. I always feel bad because I'll ask you guys what kind of videos you like. And a ton of you guys say vlogs, a ton of you guys. It's almost like you guys like vlogs. A lot of you guys like the shopping videos too, but you guys genuinely like the vlogs, but YouTube doesn't like me posting vlogs like YouTube only wants to push the grocery haul videos and I think that's why they do better and I'm trying to remind myself that the vlogs probably just get less views because you guys are watching them right you guys that watch all my videos are watching them it's just that the grocery hauls are getting more views because they're being pushed out so those extra views that they're getting are probably not necessarily from you guys but from people who aren't subscribed to my channel because YouTube pushes those videos does that make sense I don't know I'm just kind of trying to be open and honest with you guys about my thoughts with YouTube and that's kind of how I've been feeling but then I'll get the itch to vlog and so I don't want to stop vlogging completely I don't know just spilling my thoughts out to you guys Miles's bed is not even up against the wall like what have they done oh my gosh what are you doing are you just hanging out in your toy box we have a whole bunch of like well there's toys over here too but there's like stuffed animals and he has this little net that we need to hang and put the stuffed animals in we just haven't done it yet let's see what this room looks like we have this extra mattress under here because it's from Bryce's toddler bed and I don't know what to do with it but you can see it from here so I don't really like that spot anymore. Also here's a little thing we bought for their toys. I think it looks really cute in here. Super cute. They're in the closet. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that they're in the closet. But their room I feel like is the cutest of all the rooms when it's when it's put together. You know what? Liam did get his Pokemon bedding and I don't think I showed it to you guys and his bed's not made right now but his bedding is so stinking cute. I love it. Show them your what? show them your favorite. What's your favorite one? Your favorite Pokemon? On here on my pillow. Well, yeah. It's, isn't your favorite one all like Mama. of all time anyway? I mean, this one, right? I thought he was your favorite. Mama. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Okay. Well, he normally says Charmander. All four. What are you mama and me for? They constantly get underneath these beds, bro. They literally hang out. I'll find them laying on their stomach side by side, both playing with their tablet underneath their beds. Three, two, one. The deal. Go. Also, look how cute this looks on his bed. I cannot. It's so adorable. It cracks me up because the JJ doll is like the size of Miles. <laughs> I'm going to wrangle these children, get them dressed and stuff. They're gonna be they're gonna be thrilled. They are so sick of Walmart. I feel like Liam, Liam is, he doesn't really like going to Walmart and going shopping, but we're just getting, I feel like we're just getting a few things. So I'm gonna, I'll be back. All right, so like two hours later, seriously, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I looked at the time that I was last filming and it was two hours later. Cause I, I unless I have like an appointment or something, I try not to rush myself when I'm getting them ready. Cause it just stresses, okay. It stresses me out. So I just kind of like take my time. Okay. It's a vibe. Honestly, I'm doing too much right now with all three kids in Walmart. This is really cute. It's like two little beauty blenders in there, but it's shaped like heart for Valentine's Day. How's that popcorn chicken, Goosh? That's what you gotta do. Just get your kids some popcorn chicken and your life will be easier. He's just chilling like we just, like we live here or something. You comfy? Making yourself at home? I said you making yourself at home? You comfy? Okay, <laughs> We gotta get some chalky milk because these kids be tripping when they don't have their chalky milk. Let me know if you guys have tried the cherry lime body armor. I've never seen that flavor before. It might not be new, but maybe it's just like new to stores. I'm thinking about getting it. But these are super cute. They're little Doritos minis in the, like in like a Pringles can. They have Cheetos ones too. Look at that. 
Okay, so we just got back from Walmart. This is our teeny tiny little shopping haul. So tonight for dinner, we're making pork chops in the crock pot. So I just needed cream of chicken soup, cream of mushroom soup, and beef broth. I actually already have the pork chops and everything else that I need. Josh requested that I get some seasoned butter beans. He loves having these for a side. He also asked me to pick up this cookies and cream little thing. I kind of got him hooked on these. I actually didn't get one for myself because I'm trying to do better. You guys will see. I got myself some snacks, but hopefully they're like healthier. The boys spotted these Lunchables, so I let them each pick out one. I was at a random little like local grocery store the other day and I got two, just like two individual Alani Fit Snacks bars. And one of them was chocolate cake, one of them was peanut butter crisp, and they were both pretty good. So they actually didn't have the chocolate cake one in a box like this at Walmart, but they had the cookie dough. So we're gonna try that. I also have heard good things about these Quest peanut butter cups. I'm trying to get some things like where I can have something that's kind of like a sweet treat, but also it's it has a lot of protein in it. So we're gonna see how those are. This right here might end up being my lunch today. I don't know anything about this. I didn't do any research on it. I just saw it and it sounded good. So it's a protein bowl and it's Mexican style. I don't know, let's see, it says it has 12 grams of plant protein, so there's no meat in it. And I kind of skimmed over this and I don't know. We'll see. I got some of this Activia. I got the strawberry kind the other day and I'm out. So I wanna start eating at least one of these every day cause it's supposed to be good for like your gut and stuff like that. So I got this, I got the boys some chocolate milk. I'm gonna try out this cherry lime body armor. I'll probably wait till Josh gets home cause he loves cherry limeades. So he might like this too. I got some stuff for breakfast in the morning, just some biscuits, bacon and eggs. Liam saw these in one of them. He didn't even grab the Oreos. He grabbed the great value ones. So, hey, I'm, I'm not complaining. Got some puff corn for them as well. I got some ibuprofen. I actually like lost their bottle of ibuprofen and apparently it's hard to find fever pain medication for kids right now. And I went over there and it really was, there was not much over there. So I grabbed one. I got some cranberry chews. I do want to start taking this every day. Miles has a little bit of a rash. So I got him some A&D treat. I love the A&D. And then I got some bronzer, cause I be looking pale, okay? I don't really wear a lot of makeup, but I just really grabbed the first bronzer that I saw, so we'll see. But yeah, that's everything I grabbed, not very much. We're gonna do a grocery trip in like two days. So I just got like enough to get us through like today and tomorrow. So I made my little bowl. It's small, but it's only 350 calories. It's got like black beans, corn, quinoa. So I'm really excited to try it. It comes with a little spork, so you can take it to like work for lunch. So I'm gonna taste test it for you guys. It came with this citrus cilantro vinaigrette. I did not put the whole packet on it because I don't know how much I like it, but we're gonna try her. It's really hot. The vinaigrette is good. I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna put dinner in the crock pot together because it's it's very, very easy. So I'm just gonna show it to you guys. Also, I forgot again to get my hummus to go with these wheat thins. I'll have to put it in my grocery order, but I'm gonna use it to like scoop up this because I feel like this is missing something. I don't know if it's because it doesn't have cheese or if it just needs like a little crunch, but that that's the plan. So I finished my bowl and I'm full, okay? But I looked at the label and I realized there's nothing weird in it. I was thinking there's gotta be a lot of preservatives, a lot of crap in here. And it gives you the ingredients for the bowl and the vinaigrette. I'm gonna show you guys. There's no, I know what everything is in here. Okay, so here's the list of ingredients. If you wanna screenshot it, you can, but everything in there is just like seasonings, vegetables, water. I know that it's January, it's the time of year that everyone says they're gonna like get healthier and get fit and stuff like that and I've never been that person. I've never been that person that's like in, in January like, oh, it's my New Year's resolution. It's not really my New Year's resolution, it literally just happens to be the time that I all of a sudden got motivated. But if you guys want me to share what I'm doing in my vlogs, I can because I'm a busy mom, so I'm not necessarily always gonna be going all out and like meal prepping every week. And so I wanna get into that and try it. But if you're looking for like tips and little tricks that I find like this, something that's so easy, I can do that for you because I'm definitely gonna be trying to do like what's easy and convenient and quick, but also trying to make sure I'm making healthier choices. So I can share that with you guys if you're interested. I've, all I've done so far has been doing like little workouts at home and going for walks. I've went for a walk the past few days in a row. I haven't went today. I might. I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner together. Another thing I've been trying to do is not eat really close to bedtime. Like I don't wanna eat 
like two hours prior to bedtime is what I'm trying to do. I've done it the past couple of nights, but I'm trying not to eat right before bed because I'm bad about that. I'll wake up in the middle of the night and get something sweet and eat it. I'm, I've been awful, but I feel like I've been doing good the past like week and I can, if I just stick to it, I think I can get used to it. So we'll see. So what you need for this is your pork chops. Ignore the fact that they're in this bag. Just to, we were portioning them out and blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that. It calls for mushrooms. We don't put mushrooms in ours. It calls for onion. I went ahead and sliced that up. You also are going to need pepper, paprika, and then minced garlic. And then you're going to need chicken broth, or not chicken broth, cream of chicken soup, cream of mushroom soup, and beef broth. That's all that you need. So first, let me look and make sure I tell you guys right. I have to like mix some stuff together. So you have to mix together the both of the cream soups, the beef broth, the minced garlic, paprika, and pepper. So just the soups and the seasoning, okay? So we're gonna do that real quick. We have our ingredients in here. Liam wants to mix it. Don't go crazy or it'll go everywhere. Just gently. Well, a little bit more aggressive than that. Oh, good job. I don't know why that doesn't look good. Yeah, it, it definitely, you guys, will look kind of gross. Um, but I promise it's good. <laughs> but because of the pepper's still there, the redness is still there. Okay, I got them going faster. Good job. Okay, so first thing you do is stick your pork chops in the bottom of your crock pot. It calls for six. Oh, I'm sorry, Liam. I just elbowed my child in the face because oh. he was trying to watch what I was doing and I didn't see him. So it calls for six, but we might have more than six and I don't, Mom. honestly, we're not gonna be able to use all this. I'm just gonna stick in here what I can, I'm gonna stick one more in here. Squeeze in here what onions. I can. Yes, and then onions. Liam wants to put the onions on, so I'm gonna okay, let him do that. that over there? Yeah, all you do is you just place the onions in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. I kind of just break them apart. Yeah, stick you them break in there. it apart. And this would be when you put your um, mushrooms in too, but again, we just never do the mushrooms in this. But if you like mushrooms, I mean, it, I could see it being good. We're just not big mushroom people. You're doing a very good job, Liam. That is a lot of onions. So the next thing you do is you just pour your mixture over the top. Yep. And guys, that's literally it. That's literally it. You cook it for six to eight hours if you're gonna cook it on low, three to four hours if you're gonna cook it on high. It says you can serve it over rice or mashed potatoes. Oh. Mashed potatoes sounds good. So we're gonna have to cook it on high because it is like one o'clock right now. So that's what we're gonna do this time, but it's probably better over low. Okay, let's plug her in. You guys remember last time I showed you me cooking something. I'll go look at it. So we're just gonna turn it on high. It's gonna cook for hours, Liam like three to four hours. So I came to the boys' room to clean it and I'm so done with these children. What even is this? Why? And if you turn off the light, he's gonna fall. So I'm gonna... Why? So I feel productive. Miles is down for his nap and I got the boys room pretty straightened up. I still have to figure out, you can see the mattress peeking out. I had to figure out what to do with that. I think I need to cut these little tags off of their new comforter sets because they both just have like a tag hanging down but I cleaned up everything out from underneath their beds. Look how cute. I just think that's so cute. One of you guys commented and said that you like how I let their rooms, like let them have kids stuff and don't just try to be aesthetic. I can try to be aesthetic anywhere else in the house. I don't feel like this looks bad. Like I understand how some rooms in the house, things can look tacky or whatever. I don't think this looks tacky. It looks like a kid's room. Also, I just realized his stuffy like blends in with his pillow cause Catboy is behind Catboy. But I do want to get some signs to put above their beds with their names on them because right now their walls are pretty bare. I still need to get some curtains, which I have their blinds open, so it's probably blinding, but I need to get some curtains. And I feel like once I do that, I feel like once they have the stuff on the wall over here and they have their curtains, I feel like it'll look good. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I do wanna put like a little nightstand or a little small table and put that little nightlight sound machine on it. And also their beds kind of slide. Well, Liam's doesn't, 
but Bryce slides his around so and he'll have it like slanted over here touching Liam's so I figured if there's something right there that will help and I might eventually get like a rug but a rug is like down the line I'm not too stressed about that so yeah their room is the first room that feels like it's almost complete I decided to let the kids come out and play so that way their room could stay clean look at this look at this huge oil spot from my van leaking yeah. My nephew is a mechanic and he told us a way to get it up. We just haven't done it yet because we wanted to wait till after we fixed the van. Also, not us forgetting about these bikes. These are Christmas gifts and they weren't in the video because we forgot about them. <laughs> we put them out in the building and so we gave it to them after. Me and Laura actually cleared out this carport yesterday. There was a whole bunch of stuff, just junk lined up here. Boxes, Josh's stuff, a spare tire. So we put a lot of it. Well, not a lot of it, we put some of it into this right here. So this is a 31 gallon deck box and you can actually put a lock on it if you want to, but we don't really have anything valuable in here. It's just like outside stuff and charcoal. So I just set it there next to the stroller, Josh's gas can. We have our, our deep freeze outside. Josh put a lock on it because we just didn't, there wasn't much room in the house for it. So we didn't want to put it in the house, but I just think this looks so much nicer and so much more like aesthetically pleasing. So if you have a bunch of junk outside, that you could fit in one of these highly recommend it I'll link it down below also it just came in a few pieces that literally just popped together no tools required so I'll link this for you guys if you're interested I never know where to film whenever I'm outside in my yard here because we're in like a little neighborhood so there's like multiple houses around and it's real easy to have like the front of my house in the background or the front of another house or seeing a street name so I, it's really hard to find a spot to keep our privacy so i'm just like in the carport with brick behind me it'll be easier probably to film in the backyard whenever summer comes around but yeah it just feels weird because i've seen these tiktoks where there's this girl who can like find where you live with just barely the little the tiniest bit of stuff in like the background of your videos it freaks me out so josh is home with miles since miles is napping i'm taking these two on my walk with me today oh maybe maybe Come on, we gotta keep it moving. Okay. Gotta get our heart rate up. <laughs> I am going to end today's vlog. I feel like I filmed a lot. I say that at the end of my, every single video, don't I? But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know. Let me know if you want me to keep vlogging. Let me know if you just completely prefer the grocery hauls. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.